Hey, welcome to another episode of Super Dupa. It's your boy, Poppy Vasquez, and we're going to keep the hype going with Jungkook. Um, he performed at the BBC and he performed uh, seven live. Um, now, the only live performance I saw was on Good Morning America, and I got a lot of comments letting me know that... Um, it was actually the sound check that we saw because it was gonna rain so they told him hey dog we're gonna have to do this sooner and so um you know he did his thing i don't know i, I felt like it was still good but I, I can only imagine how much better it would have been if it you know he was uh, given the time to practice it and then actually do it but hey when you're a master in your craft one you gotta adapt to challenges right not everything's gonna be perfect but that's why you prepare junk cook lesson in preparation right um but now here i'm assuming you know it was inside it, it it looked like it's live so um it might be you know something different so i'm excited to see this i wonder you know if it's gonna be like more like acoustic band type situation or or what it is i i really don't know what to expect but guys this song is a banger um i love it i've been listening to it non-stop um fuck man it's like it's a, it's a really great song. And now we're gonna see him perform it live. So I'm gonna be quiet and let's get it going. Let's go. Okay, cap on two. Uh, hold up, hold up, hold up. That sounded amazing, but let me, I want to see the guitar chords again. Let's see. Let's see. So if you, so that, if you count the capo, it's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. It looks like, so it, like, again, counting the capo, D, was that like a D, D7, D major seven, maybe? Let me see. Hey, uh, Artists and musicians, let me know if these are right. Yeah. All right, that's like a... Um, he went back to a fourth. Hmm. I don't know. That would be a G sharp something. G sharp something. And then that would be... Um, is that a major? Like a F sharp... Maybe a F sharp minor. Open and then like a A7. Oh, that's tight. Oh, that is dope. First off, sounds amazing. Like, Sometimes when he sings, I feel like he like it's kind of almost putting like no effort, but it's it's part of his like and I don't mean that again, I I don't mean these things like negatively. I just mean that it's like he knows how to just hit it. And and I think because he's been doing it so long, some of the vibe I get is just from his visual. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I love how effortless. I think that that that's the word I'm trying to find for how effortless he sings. You know, like it just comes natural. Um, I really like how the drummer has the uh, the little thing. That's that's actually like pretty common now for drummers is that they have like the little digital pad so they can get these like clap sounds and all that stuff. So I, I really like that too. You know what I really also like he hit that right like the the high notes were amazing but but what I really like about live performances now is that they they don't sound like traditional like back in the day like Nirvana on unplugged type of of live it, it's not like that and also it's pop so it's also two different genres but I really like how you can still get all those really cool synth sounds and all that stuff like in a live performance Show you what 
so what I'm realizing too is that some of the parts that he doesn't sing is because like it has like a a certain effect on his voice and it would give more to the performance to kind of allow that piece to just be in its own because like when he's like deeper than the ocean is like he's got a lot of reverb and it makes it sound like in the back so I appreciate the fact that he's such a performer that he knows to give that its own thing even though it's live and you know uh selfishly i would like to see him do that live because it's a beautiful chord and i know he could hit it but it's like something about seeing them hit it live but he knows that it gives the performance more to take a step back so that's that's a certain type of maturity that i appreciate Let me let me hear that again. Ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see. That's beautiful. Hey, man, he 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 hits those high notes so effortlessly. Um, I really like that. Um. Yeah, great voice. Uh, one thing that I really like too about. Uh, the guitarist is that he hits he hits like the blues note uh, so like you know you have bar codes bar chords where you hit the whole bar chord but I've always used my thumb to hit the top note and then the uh, you know I, I, then I bar the last two notes with my, my index finger and this is for the musicians I'm sorry for people that aren't musicians I'm I, I'm, I know this is probably boring you and then I hit uh, the two chords like, like that so, so it's like you use the whole hand. He uses it for the F sharp minor. Uh, I really like that he plays it like that because you don't get a lot of people that play it like that. Ooh, I like how she's playing. Ooh. You hear those strings? So my boy's doing this thing. I, I like how he is. Uh, beautiful, man. Like, and he's like not even trying. That that's what actually like those are my best, like the the performance, vocal performance I like best is when the artist like is just like, I practice this all the time. Like, you know, like like sometimes they do like make the face, but when they don't make the face and they still hit it, you just like it just the respect level, I'm just like, dude, these guys are amazing. So obviously Jungkook is a, a great vocalist. Um, I really like the strings of the uh the synth on on that uh that bridge part. Um, and then what's cool is like when you see her play, is like she's playing the bass notes on one sound and then she's playing the uh the higher end notes on another sound. So that that's that's pretty cool. Oh. Hey, he changed the guitar. What? Oh, what is that? Who's doing that? Um, I like that little bell effect. In my opinion, it was a little too loud. Um, I would have brought it down a little bit in the mix, made it more in the background, and then probably brought up Lotto's vocals unless they did that for, up, up, you know, some reason. But that was pretty cool. I don't know who was playing it because I don't think it was uh, Homegirl on the keys, but um, that was dope. I just would have liked the volume to be down a little bit lower. Uh. <laughs> oh my god
Hey, shout out to the uh Shout out to the musicians on this one. Man, they did fucking amazing. I really liked all the sounds and then the way that my guitar guy was like it started off acoustic, then switched the guitar like, you know, later in the performance and then had like two different freaking vocal uh not vocals effects from like just like a clean and then to, to all of a sudden the distorted every once in a while and then going back and forth um shows why he's a professional freaking musician uh homegirl on the keys went through a few different sounds as well um so shout out to that because it's like there's so much that goes into like pressing buttons and i know they got a lot of presets so i mean but still it's really easy to fuck that up you know trust me i've done it on stage so i, I really want to shout out the the artist and then jungkook man I kind of wish that his vocals would have been a little bit more louder. I don't know if it's my headphones or or what it was, but I mean, come on, you have Jungkook live, even post-production mix, because you know all this stuff was recorded. So, you know, knowing that this mixer or the producer or whatever the name of the person is called that actually has to mix the track, you know, knowing that he's a professional, and I don't mean this with any disrespect, but I think that the mix would have been better kind of bringing the instruments a little bit down. I don't know if maybe his mic was picking up the instruments. I don't think so, because these guys are a freaking professional. So, I mean, I, you would think they would have it, but I, I kind of felt that in the mix that his vocals were a little too soft. I kind of would wish that he, they would have brought him up a little bit. Um, I don't know, usually those things you fix during sound check, but regardless, he, I feel like Jungkook's like a robot sometimes. Like, because it's like, what he does is so incredible, right? Like, it, it really is. Like, th- th- so effortlessly that, you know, like I was mentioning earlier, it's like just effortless vocals. And I know he's probably practiced this song like thousands of times and stuff like that, but um, it, I really like the, the, I don't know if y'all hear those birds. They're, they're right outside the garage door, but I, I like the intimate feel of, of the song. And I really appreciate how he's able to adapt to like, you know, obviously you have the track that now is has been done. So like in the other performance, like he only had to like really perform something he was used to. But here when it's live, I mean, outside of the few practices that he that he had to do with the with the band, you know, he was able to adapt to the new vibe of, of, of this thing, you know? And, and and then like the, if you think about like, not just the fact that you're practicing live, but it's like, hey, I could I, like, live you can fuck up. And like, to me, like, I mean, I, I, he's a professional, right? He's been doing live shows for over 10 years. Um, but to me, like, I feel like I would be in my head, you know? So I, again, that's the difference between an amateur and a professional. So. I like this. I like it. There's some parts that I wish would have been a little bit better, but that's just on the mixing side. That's not anything to do with, with, with Jungkook. He comes in, he does his job. And, and that's what I appreciate about it, right? Like, you know, he sounds amazing when he's moving around. Like there, there's layers, he's like an onion. He's like an onion. There's layers to him, right? He sings and performs. He, he sings and sits down. He sings and records, like, you know, like, like it's like there, there's like, you know, a true professional and I appreciate his hard work and his artistry. Guys, I also appreciate you guys. Um, let's get into our positive quote of the day. All right. So uh, this one, this one's a little deep. All right. Forget your past. Forgive yourself and begin again right now. Man, you know, I, I, I think I kind of struggle with this, too, you know, like you know, with just my mistakes that I've made in the past, you know, sometimes like, you know, because, you know, especially when you become an adult or when you make really big decisions, you know, um, sometimes the ramification of those things, you know, last a long time, you know, and you don't think about it at the time, you know, um, and, and so there are things in our past that we do have to let go and the only thing that reminds us is ourselves, like something you did that maybe didn't have lasting ramifications, but you still feel bad about and stuff like that. So, so those things, you know, you definitely have to work on. Um, and then there's some 
mistakes and things that we've done in our past that have had lasting consequences, you know, and, and sometimes it's a little hard to let go of those things, but you know, you, you, life moves forward, right? And, and, and sometimes you can't worry about the past and you also can't worry about the future because you can't undo the past and you can't guarantee the future. So all you have is living right now. And right now, the person you are is not the person you were back then, you know? And so you have to understand that there's been growth, right? And if there hasn't been growth, then, then now you know what to work on, you know? But you aren't your past, you know? Um, you have to just be a better person now. You can't undo that, right? Um, so guys, let's move forward together. And let's be present right now. And presently, I know you're watching me and I appreciate that. You know, presently I'm in your life and um, it, it does not go, it, it, it doesn't get past me how, import, how important that is for me, you know, because you could have clicked off already. So thank you. I appreciate you. And I am rooting for you. Never, anything you decide to do, you know, as long as it's positive and it's not hurting people. But, you know, I'm rooting for you. Thank you so much for being here. I love you guys. I'll see y'all later. Peace.